Let's try to stop those Facebook 3D printer scams. I think every 3D printing YouTuber should create at least a post or maybe a short video about this. 3D printing nerd has a great one, I placed a link to his video down in the description. I want to create my version just in case to avoid my viewers to get scammed. What is it about? Well, very shortly, in Facebook groups we can often see a picture of some printer and big text free for testing and if you contact them uh, they will ask you to pay the shipping but they will never send the printer. The case I will talk about was posted in a Bamboo Lab Facebook group offering a Kiddy X Max 3 for the testing, <laughs> not this one. And as always I placed there some sarcastic comment like, I don't know, uh, sure why not if you pay for the shipping and other costs and something like that. And I was surprised that how many commenters actually don't really realize that this is a scam. Interesting that the reaction of the scammer was uh, contacted me that, uh, okay, write me a PM message and if I want to do the testing of the printer. And properly this is his automatic reaction sending these messages automatically to every commenter there. So I get into the conversation and this I want to show you in this video. I started with checking the profile, it's completely fake. Even this picture, it is some Chinese beauty, publicly available picture. Then it says it works at uh, sky packaging material, which will be interesting later because it looks like it is changed in the meantime. And of course, let's start our conversation. So my first question was that uh, you don't celebrate the spring holiday. If you are not familiar, uh, during the Chinese New Year, Two weeks spring holiday nobody is active there and this post was created actually in the middle of this period i got the answer just yes so it's not too detailed conversation so here we get uh, the requirements so i have to create uh, some posts on youtube facebook instagram TikTok, twitter and similar uh, this means that most of the users have one of these accounts so this is not really a requirement and the printer I will receive in three to five working days, which is interesting. At this moment, they don't know where am I from. And the key, I only have to pay the shipping, which is $75.99 something. I don't have the currency unit here. And interesting, between payment methods, I can see a bank account. This is new thing because this can be tracked, actually. I'm very curious how will they place the company name as the owner of the account. And uh, I still don't know the company name. Are you working for Kiddy? Creliter. What? I can find it. Please send me the link of the company. Creality. Okay, so if the person was at the Creality and don't know how to write that uh, the first uh, time, then this is suspicious at the meantime, of course. Why are you sending a Kiddy printer for testing? Yes. Okay. Now, I use this moment actually to create this website page because uh, I want them to prove that I will create a video. I want them to link to my YouTube channel. But uh, during our conversation actually, I created a page on my website which will redirect them to the YouTube, but in the meantime they will collect all possible information, in the meantime the IP address. I was working as a web developer a few years ago and uh, old school PHP, not even the Python or something like that. So it took me just maybe a minute, five, six rows of the coding. And uh, interesting, they are not from China and they are from Bangladesh. And actually it's a sad because uh, these people, scammers, are using Chinese pictures, Chinese names to put a shame on them, but actually they are not even related to the China. So they are from Bangladesh. And I will show you some several pictures. Maybe here I'll include, uh, I got even, four IP addresses, interesting, from Bangladesh, but different cities, so uh, there are several groups. And uh, after this, actually, I was contacted by others, so probably my information starting to be shared that, hey, try this guy, because he is interesting to testing of the printers. Okay, let's see the ba bank account, because I was very curious how they place the Creality name in, as owner of that uh, bank account. But interesting, before my question, they already wrote that uh, we don't have a bank account in the name of the company. I have to send you directly to the my boss account. I mean, after this, if anybody falls to this scam, I don't know what to tell because uh, this is definitely very suspicious. I mean, Creality don't have a bank account. Well, my boss himself looks after all transactions of the company, so all our buyers transfer money directly to my boss account. Interesting. I tried to play here as a suspicious guy, but I still want to pay because I still want to see that bank account. Okay, let's jump a little bit and I asked to send me the picture of the printer of the Creality X Max 3. They don't even realize that Kiddy X Max 3 is actually the printer from the Creality. 
and uh, this is what they sent me. <laughs> and I checked this uh, Kipros Nighthawk account. He's directly from France, but all his friends has some Chinese names and something similar. So definitely, probably this is a fake account. And this is not even the kiddie. I said this is CRM4. I tried to play here a suspicious guy that, oh, this is not Kiddy XMAX 3. This is CRM4 and I'm not interesting anymore. Oh, I only give it to you to make you believe. Okay. And guess what? I got the bank account. So uh, this person, I don't know how can they fake some name or something like that, but here we have a name. So this is a person related to these scams. Now they asked me to send a screenshot after the payment and I sent them this. I just fake picture actually. And I enter here a reality name as a company and here this is the beneficiary name. And um, I send them this picture and after a few minutes I send that I just got the email from my bank that the payment cannot be processed because the beneficiary name is not related to reality. I paid a stupid person that I placed there the reality name as a company. And actually after this I got just some Amazon links but basically the, our conversation ended here. And later, maybe the next day, I was contacted by another person, of course another fake account with a similar text and uh, our social media promotion is uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, so again similar story. Uh, again I send them the link to that page to collect their IP address and again uh, uh, interesting the Bangladesh, but another city again and these pictures I got here and they asked me for which printer I want to test. So I already reviewed these printers uh, and um, I have to reject the request. I have all products you want. <laughs> okay. Do you have a Kiddy X1C for carbon fiber filaments? Get it, right? Kiddy X1C. And probably they Google quickly what is the carbon fiber filament and the same with this. I don't want to review the filaments. Well, actually I do, but not from them. And uh, yes, uh, I need a CD printer exactly for these filaments. Let's check their knowledge. But of course it was zero. So, uh, okay, what are you willing to take? And uh, X1C, blah, blah, blah. Again, I send them this link and they just repeated the post, their requirements and that I won't have to pay the shipping, which was uh, only 50.99. $51, probably dollars, I mean, there are no units. Uh, basically here I wanted to stop the conversation. Uh, I just asked him what is the weather in Malawi Bazaar. Uh, actually, this is their city because I checked the EP address I, in the meantime. And they pretend don't understand and similar. And okay, basically our conversation ended here. For the end, I'm very sad that actually these scammers from Bangladesh are putting a shame on Chinese people using their names and pictures. Because I can see in the comments that people are mad on these Chinese scammers, but in every case I tested, also see the printing nor tested some locations, in every case they were from Bangladesh. Different cities, but always from this country. Now I think these are professional scammers. They are doing this with hundreds of thousands of products parallelly. I could see five to 10 minutes in our conversation. So properly they are talking parallelly with the other possible victims. And that's why they don't have correct knowledge about CD printing. And I hope that until this is the case, uh, we are more or less safe because it is very easy to recognize a scammer if he don't know how to write the reality in the first attempt and he works there or don't realize that uh, Kiddy XMAX 3 is not a product from the reality, we are more or less safe. I can hardly imagine that somebody will fall to this scam except if he's so poor he cannot afford these CD printers and he's ready to do anything to pay the shipping even if the chance is small to get this free printer. And this is the sad in this story. I hope I could help you with this and um, I hope my colleagues will create at least a post or short video with the similar topics. And thank you for watching and happy printing.